Girls who consume a lot of sugary drinks may reach puberty earlier than those who don't. Harvard researchers studied nearly 5,600 girls and found those who drank more than one and a half sugary drinks a day had their first period almost three months earlier than those who drank less. Researchers found that girls who drank the most sugary drinks started their periods on average at 12.8 years old, and those who drank less sugary drinks started a bit later on average at age 13. While this doesn't sound like much of a difference, experts warn that starting puberty earlier, even by just a few months, can be dangerous. The study's first author told Health Day, starting periods early is a risk factor for depression during adolescence and breast cancer during adulthood. The research classified sodas, sweetened fruit drinks, and sweet teas as sugary drinks. Diet sodas and unsweetened juices don't have the same effect. Here's the science behind it all. Researchers say high glycemic foods, like sugary drinks, can cause a rapid increase in insulin concentrations in the body, which can lead to a high concentration of sex hormones. Alterations to the concentration of sex hormones has been linked to periods beginning earlier in life. Soft drink industry groups quickly tried to cast doubt on the study, arguing that although girls are reaching puberty earlier, there's not yet enough evidence to point a finger at their products. But NBC's medical correspondent Natalie Azar points out there are already plenty of other reasons to limit kids' sugary drink intake. I think this is more evidence that you're so, you are to limit these sugary drinks in children. We know that it's bad for dentition. We know that it can cause obesity. Mm -hmm. Now we have some evidence that it could be changing your body metabolically that could have some long-term consequences.